you giving, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be looking at the music which is missing from um, the new trilogy definitive edition of Grand Theft Auto. Which includes Grand Theft Auto Vice City, San Andreas, and GTA 3. Some of these are displayed on screen right now, which will be missing from the game. There is also, obviously, um, GTA 3 songs missing. However, I could not find that list. But there's about, <clears throat> about 10 missing from each game. And the songs that are missing are actually the good ones, too. Um, as you can see, there's a lot from San Andreas missing and they're usually the really good songs they've left all the not so great songs because obviously it's about music licensing and people actually when it was released thought that it wasn't going to be in the code and that they were just removed however <clears throat> the audio format of choice for the definitive editions is OGG Vorbis more interesting however San Andreas contains all cut music is just disabled by the, the script so why have they done this? Well, it could be one of two things. The audio doesn't work, it's corrupted or something like that. Or the more likely option is that they can't be bothered to pay the hefty amount of money to get the songs put back in their game. They'd rather miss them out because they see it as a small part of the game, when in reality it's quite the large part. It seems Vice City is going by the 10th anniversary list. So whatever songs were cut from that release are missing track mem numbers here. However, if they've cut any more music, that has been handled in the same way as San Andreas, where they've left music in but disabled that track by script. So again, that is showing that the music is there, the actual song is there, but it's just disabled. So if you're playing on PC, could you... Enable them somehow. Well, that'd be quite difficult actually because it's embedded into the script. So you'd have to be a very good coder um, to figure out how to do that. If it's even possible, it might be a locked script as well. But there is missing songs which are technically not missing, but they've been disabled. Um, <laughs> it's it's a mess. This game is absolutely a mess. And I think it was rushed. I think it needed more time put into it. I think they needed another six months. But we all know why they released it now. It was for the holiday season, for Christmas, because everybody was going to buy it then. But I don't think anyone's going to buy it now. After all these rumours about what it's really like, it pretty much is just a pile of trash. It It's really got nothing really that interesting about it. And if you want to play the trilogy, go and get an original xbox or an xbox 360 they're not that much and get the old games they're not that much they'll cost you less than the 60 dollars that it costs for the new definitive edition you can buy the originals which are a million times better and play them instead anyway guys that's it for the music removal see you guys in the next video goodbye